Superhero is about a high school kid who's not the sharpest tool in the shed, and it's his uh, fortune or misfortune, as it were, uh, to be bitten by a genetically engineered dragonfly. And because he's been bitten, he takes on some of the attributes of the dragonfly, gets these superpowers. And the movie really revolves around what happens when the guy who's really all not that bright gets superpowers. Rick Riker's a great character, because I think uh, every guy uh, that went to high school uh, can relate to this guy. Um, he's, uh, although he's a guy that doesn't fit in, he still has the problems of every guy. He's trying to get the girl, can't even get her attention. And uh, all of a sudden, he's in a position where he has these superpowers. And what, what's he going to do? And, and, and to make things worse, he now has to compete with his alter ego, who she's falling in love with. And that's really where the fun comes in. It's the fun in the, in the straight superhero movies, if you will. And we try to have that same fun with it in our picture. Leslie Nielsen as Uncle Albert is uh, not completely in touch with reality. And the acorn doesn't fall far from the tree. And in much the same way as Leslie's character is dense, uh, Rick Riker, uh, his uh, nephew, is also dense. And you can kind of see where it comes from. What wasn't genetic was filled in by living with, well, you can imagine what it would be like growing up with an uncle played by Leslie Nielsen. I had never worked with Marion Ross before, but was delighted at the, uh, at the idea when it was first brought up. We thought, wow, she would be perfect for Aunt Lucille. And then, you know, we do some, uh, well, let's just say strange things with the character of Aunt uh, Lucille. And so it requires, uh, really, an actor who has a sense of humor about herself and, and her work. And Marion was really wonderful, a total pro, got the humor that we were doing and really put a thousand percent into it and, and just really shines in the movie. Well, I knew all about uh, Drake Bell before I even worked with him because the show Drake and Josh uh, was watched in uh, our house a lot. Uh, by my kids, so I would see uh, I would see Drake, and I thought, well, what are they watching? And then I sat down, and then it was infectious, and I started watching too. Uh, David Zucker knew about him, Craig knew about him, and so really was a perfect choice uh, for this role. Not just because people knew who he was, but he had a great sense of comedy, and it's important to know how to play it straight, and also know when required to do the takes, as we say. Uh, certain reactions and so forth and Drake was really terrific and has great instincts for the comedy and knows how to do it without blinking. Craig is a great director of course it does help that he wrote the script although being a good writer doesn't necessarily mean that you're a good director it's one thing to uh, have a vision on paper and come up with characters and a story and jokes it's quite another to actually execute those jokes and dimensionalize them, bring them to life, work with the actors, and work with all the uh, aspects uh, of production. And Craig's really good at it and has done an amazing job.